Hello everyone, Wise Guy here. This is episode 10 of my Logistic Pipe tutorial. Today I want to talk about using your excess UU matter. Uh, this is from IC2, I believe, and it's what you get for your mass fabricator. Um, and we're going to use this to make a high voltage solar panel factory using solely UU matter and UU matter recipes. Uh, now, of course, if you do have some of these items in stock, like grass or dirt or um, I guess you wouldn't have grass, but if you had dirt or, or glass or something like that, you wouldn't need to use UUM for this. However, I want to accept the challenge and make a high voltage solar factory using only these recipes. And it can be done. You can get all of your ore, you can get uh, rubber wood logs, which can be extracted, you can get sticky resin for rubber, you can get coal, which you can make your coal dust from, you can get your glass, and everything from UU matter. Um, you saw redstone down here. So basically, all the recipes are right here. And I actually got this by just Googling UU Matter Recipes, right here, and uh, it was the first result. I'll go ahead and include this link in the description as well, just so you guys can find it. But um, basically, in my testing ground here, um, got some som some Thomcraft stuff coming up that I have some golems out there. And you can see these were from my earlier tutorials with other setups over there. And I made a new area. Um, I got all my power set up through transformers. I have a chest full of UU matter, and in my inventory itself, I have uh, some diamond chest, some fiber cable, an induction furnace, a rotary macerator, supplier pipe, auto crafting pipe, or excuse me, auto crafting tables, and crafting logistic pipes. Um, and then I'm just going to use basic logistic pipes to connect everything instead of cobblestone because it makes it a little bit faster. I also have a request logistic pipe Mark II. The reason why I made it Mark II is that way I don't have to use a build craft wrench to open it if I don't want to change my inventory for some reason. Now I do have extra diamond chest and you'll see that sometimes with all of this there's so much going on in one request. Um, you need 512 basic solar panels to make one high voltage solar panel. So you're going to need some overflow chests which is why I have the diamond chest here. So this chest is full of UU matter. Let me make it daytime for you guys. And this chest over here is going to be my overflow chest overall in the network with default route yes. I'll hook this up to everything I'm doing on this chain, and I just ran fiber wire all the way down, so any machines I need to hook up, I can just plug this wire in. And I'm probably going to put all my machines on this line right here, right in front of the wire. So I think to start, um, let's just look at crafting one solar panel. And we can see it right here, and everything's pretty complex. Um, we got three coal dust, which we're going to get by macerating coal. So we'll have to make an auto crafting table for coal, and then a macerator to make coal dust. We'll get the glass from a UU matter recipe. We'll get the circuits by getting the rubber for the copper wires and then the redstone recipes and then the refined iron by getting iron ore, etc, etc, etc. And that's basically how this setup's going to go. So in no particular order, um, I'm just going to start working on the basic solar panel part and we'll kind of just go step by step from there. Now again, you guys don't have to do it exactly like me in the same order, but um, you can follow along and it should work out for you. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so as I mentioned, uh, the first thing I want to do is work on the basic pol uh, solar panel. And the first component I think I'm going to work on is just glass, because that's the easiest one. Um, so for that, we're just going to put down an auto crafting table. I'm going to open up the recipe. And if I check my cheat sheet here, glass is made right here with 4 UU matter. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. We're going to put our crafting logistic pipe um, I guess on the back, that'll probably just make it easier to connect everything. And we'll go ahead and import this. So now we know how to make 32 glass. Alright, not too bad. Starting off alright. Now the next thing we're going to need is, uh, let's do coal dust. Now coal dust we know we can use um, smelting of basic coal, or excuse me, macerating basic coal. So there is a coal recipe as well. So first we're going to need an auto crafting table to make coal. So one, two, three pieces of UU matter. So we place one of these down. And I'm actually going to move these crafting pipes to the top. Um, that way I can put signs on them. It's just a little bit easier to see everything. So let me do this. Import the sign. Or excuse me, import the recipe. And then here it's going to be one, two, three to make coal. We get 20 coal for that, guys. Now I know someone did say that um, it's a little bit hard to see the interface here with the inventory. Um, I have 3 UU matter equals to 20 coal. You can see the three pieces there. I'll go ahead and clear this out and I'll just change this to my solar panels here. 
and that way I can do uh, I can reference it here instead. You guys can see this a little bit brighter. So three pieces equals 20 coal. We imported that, and I'm going to go ahead and put my signs on here so I can start seeing what I have. Now the next step is going to be to macerate the coal, and this is going to be a little bit trickier. So we're going to be macerating lots of coal. So I'm going to put a buffer chest next to um, some of these items coming up, and we'll figure out which ones we're going to need to buffer as we move forward. For now, I'm going to put chests where my basic logistic pipes are, my heart bar, and I'm going to go ahead and put a macerator here with a supplier pipe on top. The reason why I'm putting a supplier is this way that it will not overflow coal. It will only keep 64 pieces of coal in here at all times. So, get some coal from any eye. Now it will constantly keep 64 in the top of my macerator. And all I have to do is add a piece of wire in the back and I'll hook everything up afterwards. Now let's go ahead and do that now. Why not? And of course I will apply a redstone signal to keep that running at all times too. Which um, I can do later, but I'll go ahead and get myself a lever just to remind me. Stack of levers for that matter. Alrighty. So now we can um, make coal dust by doing this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a little trick here with logistic pipes. We're going to set a pipe on the side here and to make it know this recipe which is going to be coal turning into uh, coal dust we're going to use a crafting pipe with no input but the output will be coal dust. So sorry again while it dims here guys but that's the way NEI works. I'm going to get coal dust when you macerate one piece of coal you get one piece of coal dust. So look at it again, no input equals one coal dust. So now when this is connected to the network, here's my basic logistic pipes, this is going to know the recipe on how to make, let me uh, delete this here, there we go. Now it knows how to make coal dust because it knows it comes out of this machine. Um, so it's just a little bit tricky, uh, kind of something you can do to play with logistic pipes and kind of fake the system out to make it work out for you. So now that we have coal dust, I think the next step here, let's go back to our solar panels. I think I passed them. There we go. Uh, we're going to need to make a, let's see, generator or electronic circuit. We're going to have to do it all eventually. Let's do the electronic circuit, I guess. So we're going to use redstone. And this one here is made right here on an auto crafting table. Now as long as it's one recipe, or one item I should say guys, it's fine to use an auto crafting table. Um, let's set it up right here so it doesn't connect to that crafting pipe. And one more time with the recipe. Uh, so as I was saying, as long as you're using um, one material, so we're just using UU matter, it's okay to use a crafting pipe on here. When you're going to run into issues with is when you have multiple items, and I'll kind of show you how that works, but uh, basically when you start doing multiple items at once into a crafting table, sometimes they get a little bit confused and we don't want that to happen at all, so we're going to have to work on that. Now we have our redstone, we're also going to need copper cable, so for copper cable we're going to need copper and wire, so to make copper and wire we can use UU matter. So let me go ahead and get one for copper and one for sticky resin, that way we can get our rubber and our copper. Alright guys, so we can see right here, uh, we can make iron ore, tin, where's copper at? I know you can make copper ore. There we go, copper ore is the three piece of UU matter there. Now I have some sort of plugin that actually converts this directly to copper dust, so you'll see that when I do this recipe, I get my dust right away. Um, not a big deal, if you're doing this and that doesn't happen for you, then you're just going to have to macerate your dust first using the same setup as we did here with a macerator with the supplier pipe and the coal dust on the side. Um, so again, not that big of a deal. And I'm actually going to break this table. And right here I'm going to go ahead and put my um, induction furnace. And that furnace is going to have the crafting pipe on the side. We're going to use that trick in a second here. And on top we're going to put a supplier pipe. The supplier pipe is going to keep copper dust in here. Let me do that. Get a stack. And I'll get a stack of copper as well. Let me get a stack of copper cable because I'm going to need that. And we'll see that we're always going to keep in stock 64 coal dust, or copper dust, excuse me. 
So we're going to open up our crafting pipe here, and on our output we want to put one piece of copper. And the reason why we're doing one piece of copper, and again no input, is because we're using this little trick setup here. So 64 copper dust will produce one piece of copper at a time, and now we know how to make our copper. So now let's put down another auto crafting table, and again you want to leave that space so the crafting pipes don't connect. And let me plug in the back of my induction furnace so I don't forget about that step. I was testing this in single player just to make one myself, guys. And I'm in single player now too, I guess. But uh, I actually blew everything up by not changing my high voltage to low voltage. So make sure you guys do that or use transformer upgrades if you can. So let's see here. In this table here, we want to make copper cable. So we're going to have to get the rubber recipe, which is going to be sticky resin first, I believe. Now sticky resin's right here, it's one in each corner. So let's go over to the game. One in each corner makes my sticky resin. Alrighty, not a big deal. Open that crafting pipe up, import the recipe, put the sign on. Now with sticky resin we need to extract this. So let me get a centrifuge extractor, which is from the advanced machine mod. And I'm gonna have to do the same trick with crafting pipes here. Um, so basically we're going to put the extractor here on the side, and I can do it right here. We're going to supply this with 64 sticky resin at all times. Sticky resin, 64, and we're going to need rubber for the side as well, so let me go ahead and grab that. And we constantly keep this with 64 sticky resin. And when we put our crafting pipe down on the side, we know that the extractor will give us one piece of rubber. So we know that the extractor, when used with sticky resin, will increase your rubber output, which is the reason why we use extractors. And we'll get one piece of rubber by... So we'll get three pieces of rubber by extracting it. And we know that the extractor gives us three pieces of rubber for one piece of sticky resin. So we're going to put the output as three. We don't need to import the recipe because it's already there. And I'm actually going to get rid of the extractor because I don't think we're ever going to use that again. Let me make it daytime again so you can see everything, guys. And we're doing pretty good. So we have rubber, we have copper. Now let's put those together to make our copper wires. Now this is where I was saying you're going to need um, a little bit of help with your crafting table. For this, I'm going to put a supplier pipe, and I'm going to constantly, excuse me, constantly supply 64 rubber in the recipe. It doesn't have to be the recipe, but um, I like doing it this way. We also want to do 64 copper for each part of the recipe. So it's actually going to be uh, 64 times 6, and then 64 times 3 for the copper and rubber. Now the reason why we're doing that with the supplier pipe is that there's multiple items that are being... Uh, put into this machine, or excuse me, this auto crafting table at once. We have copper and we have rubber, and anytime that happens, um, the machines just kind of hiccup a little bit, and it just has to do with a, a bug between IC2 and um, the uh, logistic pipes in general, and it's not something that I've been able to work around so much, so I just wanted to go ahead and do that, and on the end here, we're going to go ahead and do our little trick again. So for this output we get six copper cables so when we click here we want to make sure we have a recipe six copper cables we can go ahead and do this and we're gonna make this so there's no input again because the inputs coming from the supplier pipe going to connect this up and now we know how to make copper cable so guys if we go back to our solar panel here the next thing we need is just the electronic circuit. So we already have redstone, we have copper cable, now we're going to need refined iron. So redstone, copper, rubber makes a copper cable. Now let's work on the iron recipe. And I don't think I plugged in my extractor, so let me do that so I don't forget. Alright, let me look up the iron recipe, guys. I'll be right with you. Alright guys, so here we go. Five pieces of UU matter makes two iron ore. So this is what you're going to do with your copper ore if you weren't able to uh, get that same plug-in of whatever I have exactly um, that gives me copper dust exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and get iron ore. 
I'm going to get some iron ingots, and I'm going to get some refined iron because I know I'll need all of that, and iron dust as well. Now guys, normally you would just have to basically make this recipe once yourself, and then you can get this in here, and then you can just right click. I'm doing a little bit faster with NEI, of course. So let's open up our auto crafting table, put in our five pieces of UU matter, and I think I saw a recipe I actually don't know. Huh. Maybe not. I think it was another wreck. So this will give us our two iron ore. And we want to macerate our ore. Now this is an extra step you don't have to take, but guys, why not take it? Um, you know, macerating doubles your output, so let's go ahead and do it that way. And for macerating our iron ore, we're gonna have to use the same setup as we have previously. So we're gonna put a supplier pipe down. We're gonna keep this stocked with my build craft wrench. We're going to keep this stocked with 64 iron ore to get iron dust. And to tell it we're getting iron dust, we're going to use a crafting pipe with no input and one iron dust, excuse me, two iron dust per macerating iron ore. And the reason why it's two is if you look at the usage of iron ore when it's macerated, which we'll see right here. Come on, NEI. There we go. So we'll see that you can smelt it, you get one iron ingot, but if we macerate it, we get two iron dust. So that's why I put two here. And I'm going to connect this piece with a basic pipe, this piece with a basic pipe, put our little sign down. Now we know iron dust. Now let's go ahead and smelt our dust. So we'll put this here, this here, supplier on top. You'll see that I'm using the basic, uh, the same basic setup at all times. On our supplier, we're going to keep this supplied with 64 iron dust. Our output will be one iron ingot per iron dust. Connect that there. Now we need to make these refined iron. So let's do one more setup here. And we're just about ready to go ahead and get the electronic circuit. So you get one piece of refined iron put our sign down. And right here, we're going to keep this supplied with 64 pieces of iron. And we'll go ahead and take our glass fiber cable and plug everything in. So we've got refined iron, we've got copper cables, we've got um, our redstone, we've got rubber for any other materials we need, lots of UU matter being used, so you're definitely going to need a really good supply of it, guys. But again, some things like iron and rubber you might actually already have if you have a rubber tree farm or something like that going on. Um, coal, glass, you know, you might not be using that. Redstone. But this is just in case you can go ahead and craft every single thing from UU matter. Now finally, guys, if we look at that solar panel again, uh, we're going to make our electronic circuit. So refined iron, three pieces of copper cable, and two pieces of redstone. Now we have everything we need here, so we're going to place an auto crafting table down, open this up, right, refined iron in the top, three pieces of copper cable on top and bottom, and then redstone, which I didn't grab any of. Let's see if I can just find it from any eye instead of having to type. There we go. Alrighty. Now, what do you think we're going to do here? Because we use multiple materials, we're going to use a supplier pipe on top and the crafting pipe on the side. So for this, we will get a electronic circuit. One electronic circuit. We put down our sign. And let me connect this piece up as well. Now again, guys, we're going to be doing multiple pieces here. So on my supplier, I'm going to put 64 pieces of redstone. I'm going to put the 64 pieces of rubber, or excuse me, copper cable. And it, again, you don't have to do this in the recipe pattern. I just do it that way because it's easier for me to make sure I have everything. Our 64 refined iron. And this is basically going to keep this stocked with a full stack at all times. That's all that means. Now we're getting our electronic circuit. So guys, now the time comes. Auto crafting table for the actual solar panel. From here it's actually pretty easy guys. So we're going to just get 
two electronic circuits. Not too bad. We're going to go ahead and get our generator. Oh, that's what we need, guys. Let's get our generator first. Three refined iron, iron furnace, and an RE battery. So a little bit more complex. Sorry about that, guys. I misspoke. Let me go ahead and figure out what I need for the generator, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I decided to go with this method here. Instead of worrying about building a furnace as well, we already have iron, so I'm just going to make an iron furnace, and we'll go with that recipe here. So I'm going to get one of those real quick. And we're going to go ahead and place eight pieces of iron around our auto crafting table as soon as any eye doesn't uh, lock up on me here. There we go. So eight pieces of iron in a circle like that. That gives us one iron furnace. Now this is one item, so we can use a regular crafting pipe on it. No big deal. Import that. Put our sign on it just for fun. And again, guys, you don't need that sign. I just do it because it's easier to keep track of everything. Now we have our iron furnace here. We're going to need RE batteries. And this one does have multiple items. So we're going to have to do a supplier pipe and the crafting pipe setup. Now, I'm sure there's more compact ways to do this as well, guys. But um, for me, this is just the easier way to do it. So I'm going to grab myself a stack of batteries. Okay, 16 batteries. You're going to get one for nothing, basically, for our output here. And to make a battery, we're going to need four pieces of tin, two redstone, and copper cable. So technically, guys, this should be our pieces of tin first. So I'm going to go ahead and do it that way, and then we'll make this into our um, RE battery. So tin, I believe we do have tin ore for. So right here, one, two, three pieces of UU matter. One, two, three. Gives us tin dust. So again, um, whatever add-on I have gives me my tin dust right away. Now let me get a stack of dust. Let me get a stack of tin. And I need to break this setup. Alrighty. Crafting pipe. Tin dust. Now we're going to need to make this into tin. So we place that down. We place down our crafting logistic pipe. We place down a supplier to make sure we always have 64 here. So 64 tin dust will give us one piece of tin. We put it on our sign, hook up our pipes, and we are good to go there. So now that we have tin, we can go to move on to the next part. So let's put down this auto crafting table and we want to make RE batteries. So that's going to be two redstone, four pieces of tin, and a copper cable. Copper cable, two redstone, four pieces of tin, and here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and place down my uh, crafting logistic pipe here. It looks like I placed an extra fiber cable there earlier when I was laying that. We're going to put our supplier pipe here. We're going to connect it all up. And on this down here, I'll place my sign, open the interface, I'm going to import it, and I'm just going to remove the inputs here so it doesn't know about that. We're going to output an RE battery. Now on top here, we're going to always keep 64 copper cable. We're going to keep 64 redstone. And we're going to be keeping 64 pieces of tin in each of these corners here. Well, the sides, not really the corners. So there we go. Now we have RE batteries. So we have our iron furnace. We have our batteries. I think we have everything for the generator. Let me go ahead and open that up. I really should memorize these, but with NEI, it's kind of tough to uh, memorize things now. So we have the iron. We have the battery. We have the iron furnace. So let's go ahead and do that now. We have the battery, iron furnace, and we have everything else. So let's place this down. Now, battery, iron furnace, let me get that. And we already have a refined iron, so one of those. Let me get a generator while I'm here. And that goes down here, three refined iron. And I messed that part up, there we go. That gives us a generator. Crafting pipe on the side, because we're using multiple items. I'm going to import this, remove the items. 
put down my sign after I move the snow, hook up my supplier pipe to the top, and we're just going to supply ourselves with every item we need here again. So 64 refined iron, uh, 64 iron furnaces, which for some reason I didn't grab a stack of. And then we're gonna need our 64 batteries. So this one's a little bit tougher to do because they only stack in stacks of 16. So maybe we should cut that in half. Um, let's do that and then that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it that way. I'm gonna try that and see how that works. That makes our generator. So now finally, guys, we can make one solar panel. And again, we're gonna need 512 of these. So let's get our generator. We're also going to need every other component we've made so far, basically. Two electronic circuits. We're going to need three pieces of glass, which I don't have with me right now, and the three pieces of coal dust. So let me get some coal dust. Let me get rid of the generator in a second here. Let's get rid of the copper and the copper dust. Let's get some glass. Alrighty. Three pieces of glass three pieces of coal dust gives us our one solar panel and I inverted these there we go one solar panel guys so let's place this down let's place our supplier up top using multiple items again and we're gonna connect everything up so let's go ahead and do this we're gonna need 64 pieces of glass I'm just going to double check that that's the right way to put the glass. And see guys, I already did it again. Um, let's do this. There we go. Alrighty, coal dust. And let's go ahead and put our generators and our electronic circuits. I'm just going to double check that's the right recipe. Generator, two electronic circuits, one, two, three. Alrighty, guys. So, import everything. Get our solar panel. Remove the inputs. Only get an output for nothing, which is the reason why is because we're using that supplier pipe. I'm going to make it daytime, and guys, I think it's time to test this out and see if it works. Um, we have everything plugged in except for this one here. Told you I'd forget that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and flip the levers on each one, uh, place the levers and flip them so they can start warming up. And let's see if we can get just basic solar panels before we move on to all the transformers we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage um, transformers, as well as low, medium, and high voltage solar panels. Uh, obviously, high voltage is the end result that we want. So I'm just going to turn on all of these, let them warm up so it works a little bit faster for us guys, and we'll see what happens. I'll be right back when it's done. And guys, I am back. All of these are heating up really well. Um, you can see that it's going decently here. Uh, now I did check the length of this video, and we're actually just about at 30 minutes, guys. Um, so sadly what that means is that this is going to be a two-parter. So we have everything set up. All I have to do is just connect this pipe to there, and with this provider module here, it's a provider mark II, um, it's going to basically leave only the UU matter in the first stack there, and we'll be able to provide all of that. Any extra items will be routed to this chest. Um, should probably put a chassis pipe here. I guess I'll do that on film here real quick. Chassis pipe, mark II. And I'm going to put a provider module and the item sync so I can make this my default route. Um, but basically, guys, yeah, we're at about 30 minutes here, so this is going to have to be uh, a two-parter. And I'm sorry, I know we were just going to see if this whole setup worked that we've just been working on. Um, this is honestly going to be my first time doing this. So I know it seems like I've done this before, but uh, believe me, I tried it one time. And I blew everything up, as I mentioned, because I didn't change my voltage to low voltage. Um, so I'm going to leave this on normal, I guess, since that's the default route. And uh, basically, guys, I got to the same point we are right now. And I flipped my switch to turn power to everything, uh, my switch being just hooking up the cable. 
and I blew craters all along here. You probably saw at the beginning of the episode there was a lot of dirt and there wasn't grass yet. Um, every machine I had hooked up to make my basic panel, so every machine you see here, uh, blew a huge hole in the ground. So this will be my first attempt, guys. Um, come back tomorrow for part two. You'll see that video. Um, we'll go ahead and see if our hard work paid off. And all of these have warmed up now, so they're going to work a little bit faster. They'll eventually max out about 10,000 RPMs for that. The heat will be about, um, well, 100% and the extractor here will be up to uh, about 10,000 RPM as well. So guys, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and we'll see if we did it successfully.